In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install fonts to your Mac. The first thing you need to do is to go ahead and download a font. If you go to your web browser, you can go ahead and download fonts from websites such as thefont.com, Adobe Fonts, or myfonts.com. In this example, I'm going to be using this BBAS font from myfont.com, and it's currently free as of recording this video. So once you've got your font downloaded from the internet, it should download as a zip file. If you go ahead and double click into the zip file, it will extract the contents from inside the zip file into a folder. If we open up the folder, you should see a few files, and the main file we are interested in is the .ttf file, which is a true type font file. This is what we are going to be using to install the fonts to our Mac. To install this font to our Mac, we need to go ahead and open up our Spotlight, and we need to search for an app called Fontbook. Once you've opened the font book, it should look something like this, and you may see many fonts installed to your Mac already. To install this font, you want to click on the My Font section, and these are the fonts you've manually installed to your Mac already. So, to install the font, all we need to do is to take this TTF file, and we need to drag and drop it into our My Fonts font book. You won't see anything happen, but after a few seconds, it should appear here in the new list of fonts. So, as you can see, it has now been installed. If you have multiple TTF files, it's important that you highlight and drag and drop all of these files into the My Fonts font book, and it should automatically arrange them within styles if there are styles attached to your font. So now the font has been installed to our Mac, we can go ahead and close out of the font book, and we can go ahead and delete the zip file if we would like to. Now, if you are using programs that use fonts, such as Adobe Photoshop, you may need to restart these programs in order to see the font within the program. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like, and if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below.